staying and now he's back living with me actually me recording that video um i was taking the, one of my kids up to the grandparents and i had my two-year-old with me and that was actually on the this was happened on the return trip i had stopped to get some gas and i was just heading down the road getting ready to turn to going to be turn and i actually passed the school zone i i just i was turning to turning left um, and I was paying attention to see if anyone traffic was coming from the other side and where I, where the yellow line was, so where I was turning to. And I just looked that right, and this person goes flying on by. It's kind of ridiculous that people are in such a hurry or self entitled that they're willing to risk their lives and other people's lives just to cut off a few seconds of time and you, you probably, some of you probably go what if it was an emergency I go I'm gonna say this such an emergency that you don't go to a large hospital that's the other way down that street there's no and there's only minor, like minor clinics down that road that they were where they were heading. There was a hard large hospital, a large hospital on the other, on the other way that she could have got to sooner. Well, they and I assume it was a female. I probably shouldn't assume, but it makes me wonder: Are people just becoming more and more self entitled these days? Um. I'll probably even pull that intersection up on the, on a map to show you where that I believe they went around some traffic just to get a did just to do that. Um, yeah. uh, it might take a second. I'll get it up here in a second, um, but it just boggles my mind why people do that. Because it was there is only turning lanes. There's two, a left turn lane, a straight and left turn lane, and then a right turn lane going into just two lanes. Then well, a left turn lane, and they just flew on by. Like no care in the world. Well, I believe that uh, that it uh, would have killed someone. By uh, probably would have done by the speed, rate of speed, the cars would have definitely been messed up, and some people would have been hurt. Um. Kill, I'm not sure, and that brings me to the point of use defensive driving. They say you, but when you're told to use to be a defensive driver, be a defensive driver, because you never know when stuff like that's gonna happen. I mean, literally, I wasn't anticipating it, but if I wasn't being vigilant enough, well. I would have ended up in an accident. So, you really. <laughs> there's two things to take from this. If you're. Stop. You either need to do stop yourself. Um, self important. Or. Stop being. An idiot. And drive defensively. 
I'm not saying everyone's uh, acting self-supporting or idiots. It's just there's people out there like that, and they need to stop doing that. But you also need to be def a defensive driver. And I could have, if I got a better view of the license plate, I would have actually been able to send the video in to the police department, and they would have been able to give the person t uh, a ticket for reckless driving. And possibly just run a red light. But, yeah, from you can see from the video, it's not that great of a recording. I mean, I still may be able to, and they may be able to enhance it to figure out. But I'm just going to leave it as is for now. And let you guys have fun laughing at either me or the video.